Together, we will make America great again. So the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000, all rising today. Three of the four indexes hitting record highs. The U.S. is now the world's leading producer of crude oil, according to estimates by the Department of Energy. Take a look at this. Our news cameras caught the price of a gallon of gas at $1.99 at a couple stations on Youngstown Poland Road and Struthers. And now gas is just 99 cents at the BP. There. The U.S. military dropping its largest non-nuclear bomb in Afghanistan. It comes just days after an American soldier, a Green Beret, was killed fighting ISIS. The nearly 5 million jobs gained sets the record for the most jobs ever added in a single month. January marked the eighth month in a row of declining illegal border crossings. The last time that many months of decline happened was 1992. I know we have a historic economic framework. It's a framework that will create millions of jobs, grow the economy, invest in our nation and our people. On Joe Biden's first day in office, he killed thousands of American jobs. A record 2.76 million migrants crossed the border during the 2022 fiscal year, shattering the previous annual record by more than 1 million. Gas prices have once again climbed to a record high. The national average for a gallon of gas is now $4.92. Store shelves nearly empty of fruits, vegetables, beef and chicken, even some cereals, bakery and juice items hard to find. Everything's red. The Dow is down. The S&P is down. The NASDAQ is down. Cratering. Why? The news today that interest rates could keep going up. News statistic from the FBI. Murders were up in the biggest increase since the Bureau started keeping those records in 1960.